Hey, welcome back once again. Now, in this video, we're going to learn about how to create pagination in React. Uh, we're going to use the WordPress REST API and we have already learned in the previous video about how to create a custom endpoint. You can see that we can access this endpoint and we can get all of the post data being displayed over here in exactly the way we want it. So the food is ready. All we need to do is just serve. Awesome. So all you need to do is just go to one of these repository. If you've been following along my React with WordPress series, that's brilliant. Um, if you aren't already following that, you can go to this repository called React with WordPress. You can clone it and then we can get started. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do is from where we left in the React series, okay, React with WordPress series, is that the first thing we're going to do is after we clone it, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our app.js. And this is where we go ahead and put all of our components, routes, so we need to create a route, uh, sorry, we need to create a component, basically, which is called blocks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just go to components and create a file called blocks.js. Okay, awesome. And we're going to do import react from react. And then you're going to need to say const blocks is equal to, this is going to be functional components. We're going to use React talks and all. So export default blocks. Okay. And we're just going to return or what we can do is we can directly use this round bracket to return. And you can just say, React dot fragment, and then you'll get the navbar first, which you've already created earlier. Okay, and we're just going to add this to our app.js. So just beneath the log, and I think I can put that here. So blocks, we need to give it a path. And we'll do that as blocks. Okay. Awesome. Great. And we also need to add that to the navigation as well. So we need to add that into a nav link. So we can go to components, nav bar, and where do you want to put? Just beneath the home. Okay. So this is our home and I can say now, okay, just copy this, paste it and just change it to blocks and this will be blocks. Okay. And instead of blocks, let's just put hello for now or just put blocks because I'm going to display all of the blocks over here. Okay. So let's go, go on to our front end. So let's refresh. Here we go. We have the blocks available. So now we just just displaying blocks over here. So that's fine. Okay. We're also going to need another component called page. Uh, so when the user clicks on any specific page number, it's going to go to that particular page because we need to fetch the content, uh, fetch the post with the ID. So let's create one uh, for that as well. Okay. So we're going to say page.js and I'm just going to copy the whole thing from here just paste it and just name it as oops just name it as page okay and of course I need to include that here as well so I need to define that route so I'll just say page path but this time we need to have an ID. So we'll say page and then call on ID. Because if you work with reach router, you know you can achieve this. So if you check, where is it? Reach 
router ID. You should find an example here for URL params. So once this opens up, you can see that you can define your routes oops, like this, users and then whatever the ID is going to be. And then when you pass the link uh, to that, you just need to put slash and whatever the ID is. And then inside of the props, uh, inside of the props, you'll have that available as user ID. So let's have a look of this one just to give you an example. If you click on Bob, you can see users slash whatever the ID was is being displayed over here. You go to Sally, uh, so you got the ABC being displayed over here. And why is it being displayed over here? Is because inside of the user component, I'm saying props dot user ID. So it's just trying to catch this variable name. You can put whatever name you want. For example, in my case, I've just put ID over here. You can put the name that you want. And it's just going to fetch uh, that particular uh, you know, data for you. So this is going to be super helpful because when we are doing the pagination, we're clicking on different page numbers. We're going to grab that data from there and just you know hit that URL. So we'll just say page slash and whatever that page number is. It's going to fetch the data for that. Awesome. Let's continue. Okay. So once you've done that, um, we let's close all of this for now just to make things simple. And inside of my blocks, I need another component, which will be posts, which will be fetching all of the posts data. So I'm just going to create another component called posts. The reason why I'm creating a separate component and not putting all of the data here, because then I can reuse the same component inside of blocks as well as inside of page. Okay, that's why I'm creating a separate one. Okay, and over here, we'll just say import react from react and export I can just say const post it's gonna take the props export default posts actually it's posts not post and for now just return Hello. Okay. And over here, we're just going to call this component. We're just going to include this component. We'll say posts. And it's going to be this one. And over here, we're going to pass the page ID. So when you hit the block page, which is the first page, uh, sorry, not the first page, but when you hit that blocks link, Basically, what you want is you always want to get the first page, right? So, uh, and later on, when you click on the page initial numbers, then you would probably need to, uh, you know, fetch the pages. But uh, initially, you just want the page number one. So that's why I'm putting uh, page ID as props and I'm setting its value to one initially. That will always be the case. Okay, so now this is going to get that page ID. So I'm going to say const page ID is equal to props dot just props anything it should be able to pull that data from there awesome and we're going to need to do the same thing for our page as well so if you go back to our page component that we just created we're just going to include that post component that we just created which is posts okay and page ID but this time page ID will be different. What do you think that will be for the page? Well, if you remember, we discussed that the page number is going to be um, whatever page that he's, he's hitting. So that is the reason why we created this uh, dynamic one, page and, and the ID. So we, where can we get this ID from? So if you remember with the reach router that we are using, uh, which is this one, we have an access available to this ID in props. So we can get that information on the page from props. So let me do that. Return. Okay, I'm going to pull the ID using object destructuring of ES6 from props and just pass this ID from over here. And now if I try to access that, how do you think we can access the page ID? Well, of course, with the help of props, right? 
So uh, we are already passing the page ID. If you are pa passing from the blocks uh, page, then you are passing just one. If you are passing from the page, then you are passing whatever the URL ID is uh, the user is passing, right? So let's just console out page ID and see what we get. This all thing, uh, all of these things will be clear to you uh, in some time. So don't worry if it doesn't make complete sense for now. Let's just import page. Import page. No. Great. So now you can see page ID is one. Why is it one? Is because we are accessing blocks page, and on blocks page we are passing just one to the post. That's why we have it one. Let's try to access the um, this one which is page slash page URL and hit the uh, page number as two for example let's see what we get so if we hit two as you expect we have the two available all right let me get rid of this console it's disturbing console oh there are so many consoles okay I'm just gonna pause and just get rid of all of them okay brilliant now, if you hit page number three, what do you expect? Well, yes, you've got three now. Awesome, so this is gonna be helpful when we're going to create the pagination. We hit the page number, we get the page number. With the help of the page number, we can fetch the data for the post, whichever post we want. Awesome, great. Now, not post what we want, but the page number that we want. Okay, great. Now, the next thing we need to do is just close this post, uh, close this blocks and pages close everything for that matter except the post because this is where we'll be focusing now okay so so far we learned about creating these two components and in the next video we're going to learn about um, you know displaying all of the posts um, with the help of the rest api that we have created the custom endpoint that we've created and then um, you know we'll dig in further about the pagination so i will see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.